everybody, this is the latest stream 27 and I am doing a video on the Furiosaur Helicarrier. So, now let me get into the details. It has five atmospheric thrusters on each wing and a lot of ion th thrusters facing backwards. It has claw-like legs to grab onto things somewhat at the time it works. And it has landing gear inside so then that theory actually works. It has a couple of um, drones, I would say, kind of on the side. Because these were remote controlled or flied by, flown by um, piloting them. And I will show you that right now. These are not on the actual ship, so, like, they are, but they're not connected by a connector. So, if you're copying this ship into another world, if it's not a blueprint, then it won't have any of the ships on it. Other than that, you'll have everything. So, this is one of the fighters, and it has missile launchers. I'll go into the thing right here, then we grab that. Uh, shoot. Shoot one, this is what I'll put on. And then, shoot one. And it does small damage, of course. So, uh, that's this. And then, this also has claws on it because I was making it as a bird fighter kind of thing. Now, this also does have airtight seals, meaning that when you go through and open a door, the other door in front cannot open until the back door is shut. So, I cannot open that door over there until this door is completely shut, so then it seals the airtight. And every place in this Helicarrier slash bird can be airtight. And this is one of the fighters that are on this ship. So it has hydrogen thrust. So when you're in atmosphere, this can park anywhere basically. And this can also be an escape pod if you need it to escape from like fast situation because this is a very fast ship. So yeah, let's get into the actual ship from here. Check that out. Now, I will show you an example of the automatic closing door. Also, the reactor in this room can access other stuff. Yeah. So, this is the reactor right here, and then can access stuff through this conveyor as you can see. So this conveyor goes all the way throughout the ship so you can access everything through here. Then, also, you have some storage room on the other side of the ship in here. And you can store some of your stuff in this cargo container and some of the cargo containers around the ship. The large con cargo container is in the center where the reactor is. Now, I will continue on through the room past it. So, this is kind of um, a maintenance room where you can walk around the ship, maintenance, and there's also a med bay in here. So, I will also show you the shield generator in one sec, because there's two on this ship. So, then you can maintenance stuff from up here, you can go around, and you can check your oxygen tanks and see if they're doing fine. You can also maintenance them from down below. But, the shield generator is placed right here, the other one's also on the other side. And then, we have one of each type of capacitor on either side to make this so then it runs quite decently. Now to the next room. 
This room has plenty of viewing glass, then you can look down at anything that you want, really. This spot right here is particular for looking at the launching mechanism missile. So that is actually an automated missile thing that you can launch. And it's basically if you're being chased, then you can launch a missile at the chaser or blow up the ship, basically. <laughs> but there's two of them on either wing as well. And then here is the main med room. So like, if you die, this is the main med room that you'd want to spawn in, because then you're close to the command center, which that is head, which is also the command center, which I will show you in one second. And then, this can fly in atmosphere, but I'll do that in another video. So, here is the command center, and it has some soothing lighting, so it's kind of a darker blue than the blue that we put out there. Now, burp plane is kind of a reference to bird plane, so, you know. Also, I added in a south struck button, so if you ever are in a case where you have to blow up your ship, this basically severs the ship in two, so I wouldn't advise pressing that until you're, like, um, ready to, like, not die. <laughs> okay, so... Now, when you're piloting this, you can look all around the ship. The gravity barely reaches um, the outer of this, so basically, the gravity well is the length of this bird. So you won't have anybody, like, getting pulled in from a mile away, I guess. But. The feet down there are intended to grab onto stuff, and the shield protects it from breaking, so that's how, in my description, I said you can go 100 miles without damage if you land. That's how that works. Now, it has a decent turning speed, because all of the gyroscopes go on the wings, so if the wings are lost, then you lose your gyroscopes, and I did that reference from, you know how a bird turns and stuff. I kind of wanted to make it pretty well like a bird. So, uh, you know, and then if you're turning, it turns about this speed. So it's not bad, because this is a really big ship, but definitely wouldn't want it to crash like that. And now... I will spawn in a planet to show you how this flies in atmosphere because I would sure want to know how it flies in atmosphere, so why not? I will generate a random seed, it does not matter, and I will do an Earth-like planet. So now let's spawn this in. I'll do it fairly close so then it doesn't take us like an hour to get out there. So... Okay... Hope we're near our desert, because deserts are more nice than Iceland, but, you know, typical. Okay, I believe, yeah, we're in the gravity well. Okay, so, spawned in fairly close. Let me check if everything's online. Okay, nurse dampener's online. So I don't believe we're going to be crashing, because when I was testing this, I was testing it on a higher gravity planet, so it had more oxygen as well, so it's my crash. <laughs> but I don't believe it will. It might. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I didn't crash. Okay. So. Now I believe it's flying upwards, but. Can't. Uh, yeah, we're flying upwards now. So now we have complete control over the bird, and we are flying in atmosphere. So. 
It's not too terrible. It's actually a really good flyer in atmosphere. Also, all of the turns on the top and bottom do a massive amount of damage because I have tested it on a Covenant carrier and it like blew it to smithereens, so it is really destructive. Now, let's view this from the main HUD. So, if you're looking through here, you can actually control the ship, basically. You don't really need a camera. You can just look through the HUD. As long as you're aiming downwards, you'll be able to see because this ship uses forward momentum to fly. So if you aim your ship downwards a bit, a little bit and angle it, it will fly like a million miles an hour. Not literally, but really fast. Now, that is pretty well the end of this. Other than I might as well show you that fighter back there, as long as we get out of the safe, or in the safe zone of not crashing. But, the nice part about this ship is, when you're in atmosphere, this can actually orbit the planet without you commanding it. So if you have inertia dampeners on, then you're like completely fine. Because this keeps on taking off, taking off. Now, oh god. also has weapon systems on it, so if you are escaping, you're not just left with zero weapons. Now, let's get back to and show you the action. Also, all your controls are in the cockpit, so you saw those panels. So every single panel has something on it. So, when you're controlling it, one of those panels at least has something. We're actually flying right now, and we have not cracked. So, when we open this, you want to make sure that your thrust is not on. Because if your thrust is not on, then you'll fly out smoothly. But if your thrust is on, you'll smash right into the tail. Uh, that's my assumption, because I have not tried this before. But, pretty certain that it will work. Oh gosh, oh gosh. That's not good. So, gotta get this fighter out of here before we can crash land if we are. Because didn't really put that much in consideration. Uh, I think it's. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work out how we had thought it would. Should have turned off the first. Well, I hope you all like the ship and want to check it out. So yeah, I'm going to look at the back end of the ship. And oh, oh, oh. okay, we're going to crash. Well, hope you like the video. And yeah, we'll be back after this. Bye.